I'm Linda from Barlati's Body Blitz. Welcome to Postnatal Total Body Express. For today's workout, all you will need is an exercise mat and a towel. I'm using a full-sized bath towel, which I'm going to fold in half and in half again, and then once more, so it's nice and thin. And then I'm going to fold it in on itself in thirds. So basically what you need is a nice thick area to push against. We won't be using it at first, so I'll just put it off to the side, but make sure that you have it handy. Now this workout is great for anyone who suffers from diastasis recti, which is a stomach gap separation after pregnancy. Some people have it quite a wide gap in between their abs, and by focusing on breathing, tucking, and really contracting, you're better able to close that gap together. For some people, unfortunately, it never closes all the way again, but you can definitely do something to make that gap smaller. So we're really going to focus on form in this workout. If ever you are in any sort of discomfort, just stop the exercise and make sure that you consult your doctor before continuing. We don't want to make anything worse, we only want to work on things that strengthen and make it better. Okay, so we're going to start off in an all fours position. I want you to think about your alignment, your hips are directly above your knees, your knees are separated hip width apart, your elbows, wrists are lined underneath your shoulders and you're pulling everything in. So imagine you've got a corset around your waist and you're pulling everything up but you've got a really nice flat back. From this position, we're going to start tucking our hips. So breathe in and as you breathe out, I want you to tuck your hips. So you're going from a straight spine to a slight curve in the spine. You need to think about blowing all the air out and contracting every single muscle in those abs. Think about your stomach muscles like a corset around your core. And as you're contracting forward, you bring your hip bones closer to your ribs and really tucking those hips. Think about straightening out from your hips all the way down to your knee as you bring those hips forward and never fully relax. I want you to think about holding your belly button into your spine the entire time. Even on the out, you are still contracting. If you bring your chest slightly towards your legs as well like this, you will be feeling your upper abs as well. Let's do a few more like this. For four, blowing out each time. Three, two, and last one. Now I want you to hold this contraction and we're going to do tiny little pulses here. So it's tiny little contractions. You're pulling in even tighter. You're trying to tuck your hips as slightly forward. You're trying to press your chest slightly back. Tiny motion. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. So you felt that, right? Now we're going to bring our front arm and our back leg together in the center. If you find this too difficult, just do the arm or just do the leg. So we're going to make sure we're aligned. We're going to extend our front arm and our back leg. Breathe in and as you bring together, you're blowing all the air out. Extend long and blow all the air out. So you're touching your elbow to knee and crunching in the middle, but you're still looking ahead of you you're not twisting your body. It's still in perfect alignment. And you're tucking those hips. Feeling it in your supporting arm as well. Let's go for five. Four. Long extension. Three. Two. One. Now stay together and tiny crunches here. Fast breaths. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Relax that. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Extend your front leg and your back arm and blow out and same thing towards the back. Slow and controlled. Lift that leg and squeeze your glute at the top. 
Extend through that arm long. Thinking about stretching as well as strengthening. As you pull together in the middle, think upper and lower abs. Squeeze together. All the way out and in. Still tucking that hip. Lots to think about here. Go for five, four, three, two, one. Keep it in and those tiny pulses, short, sharp breath. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Just come back in child pose for a second. Deep breaths here, relaxing everything. We're coming back into that tabletop position. And now we're going to start incorporating a bit of upper body. If you find a push up too difficult, then you can stay up like this with your glutes up in the air. But we're going to attempt to scoot our legs back and flatten our glutes down. So our hips are facing downwards more and you're tucking slightly forward. So remember that same tucking action, release. So your glutes are slightly higher, breathe in. And you're tucking your hips forward, squeezing your glutes. Release, do it again, tuck. Release, tuck. Let's do a few more like this. Let's go three. Pulling your lower belly in, two. Last one. Now stay tucked the entire time. You should be able to breathe here. Keep your hips tucked and we're going to do some push-ups just halfway down and up. So it's breathe in and Tuck your hips, breathe in and halfway down and halfway down and so make sure your neck is in alignment with your spine. You're looking at the front of your mat. Your belly button is pulled into your spine. You're still tucking your hips forward. Down and let's go three more. Two more. Last one. Now, untuck your hips, deep breath in. Tuck again, let's do a few more of those, just three. Release, deep breath in, and release, and last one. And now, keep that tuck, bring your hands closer together and face your fingertips in towards each other. Are you tucking your hips? Are you squeezing your glutes? Halfway down and up. Halfway down, breathe in and tuck the hips. Halfway down and halfway down and your elbows are still flaring here. Your fingers are in like a diamond position. Halfway down and squeeze up through your triceps. Tuck your hips, four, three, two, and one, relax for a second, come back forward, neutral, two, tuck, three more, relax and tuck, hold everything in, relax and air out, tuck, last one, relax and air out, tuck, walk your hands, even closer so your arms are touching your rib cage your fingertips are to the front halfway down and up this is a triceps push-up tuck your hips forward hold your belly button into your spine your elbows are going towards the back they're not flaring so it's down and up just go down a little bit down and up we're just strengthening everything while still maintaining that perfect form with our hips tucked let's go five Four, three, two, last one. Nice job. Relax back, stretch out. 
And now we're going to do that same tabletop position but with some glute raises, okay? So come into the tabletop position we were in before where you're perfectly aligned, hips over knees, shoulders over wrists, pull your belly button in, your spine is flat. We're gonna breathe in and we're gonna tuck our hips forward, okay? Breathe in, out and... So now you're in this tuck position. So you were like this and you tucked forward. From here, I want you to stay in this position. We're going to start raising the front leg. Okay, so it's going to go up and down. You're going to maintain the tuck. It's up and down. Maintain the tuck. It's a tiny motion. You're not gonna be able to get it high because of the tuck. Keep that all tucked in. Your spine is slightly rounded and it's in and blow out as you raise the leg and keep that tuck. You don't need to move a lot here. Don't swing your leg down and contract your glute. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back, neutral spine. Deep breaths here, holding that tuck really burns, right? So we're gonna hold the tuck again and this time do a straight leg raise. So breathe in, breathe out, tuck forward, straighten your leg, keeping that tuck and it's going to be an ultra micro move. Keep the tuck and you cannot lift your leg very high if you're tucking. Push out of your shoulders, don't slouch, long neck. Tuck those hips and lift against the tuck. Tuck, go for five, four, three, two, one. Come back. Now we're going to do a release with our leg in and then up, okay? So we're coming further in and then up. So this is going to be a much larger range of motion than we just did. So breathe in. I want you to tuck in, release up. All the air out and squeeze your glute up. All the air out and squeeze your glute up. Round your chest towards that knee. And up. And up. Go for five. And up. Four. And up. Three. And up. Two. And up. And last one. Nice job. We're going to repeat that on the other side. So I'm just going to come around this way. And we're going to start in that tabletop position. Remember your alignment, your tummy's in. We're going to breathe in and tuck forward as hard as you can. And we're going to raise the leg against the tuck. So keep that tuck. You're never releasing it. That's why your leg can only come that tiny bit. You'll never be able to get it very high if you're tucking hard. Squeeze your glute. Breathe out every time your leg comes up. Everything's contracted, feeling your obliques, your upper abs, everything. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, release. Deep breath in. Tuck and extend that leg. So you're tucking hard here and you will hardly be able to move that leg, okay? So breathe in and it's a tiny move. You're still tucking. You're trying to keep that hip forward. You're tucking as you raise, squeezing your glute, squeezing that hip. Your leg is super straight, your toes pointed. You're contracting everything. Remember that corset all the way around your core. Hold it all in. 
five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Okay, now we're doing those larger range of motions. So we're gonna release up and then breathe out and bring our knee in, okay? So, bring your leg up, deep breath in and out and tuck. All the way up, squeeze your glute and squeeze your glute at the top and remember that tucking action, hips to ribs. This is the last exercise that we're gonna be focusing on that and then we're lying on our backs. So make the most of it, really exaggerate that. Bring your chest towards your knee and tuck your hips forward. Let's go for six, five, four, three, two, last one. Nice job, just sit back for a second. Rotate through the wrists. And we're going to use our towel now and I want you to lie down on your back. So lie all the way down and place the towel in between your thighs so that you really can squeeze in on that. We're going to start with our feet in tabletop position and I want you just to, to focus on pulling your belly button into your spine, no space in between your back and the mat, and all we're doing is squeezing in, 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 in. You can lie all the way down if you wish, and think about contracting your core at the same time as you squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So you're engaging your pelvic floor here, really tightening everything, Squeeze in as hard as you can. Inner thighs are all connected to that pelvic region. So if you strengthen them, you've got a better chance of recovering from all of that trauma after pregnancy. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to bring our toes down and back up down and up. If you want to engage your upper abs, lift up. It's down and up. But the main point is you're still squeezing on that towel. Blow out as you come up and keep your back into the mat. Down and up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Now we're gonna straighten our legs. We're gonna turn our feet out and we're just gonna squeeze, squeeze, squeeze in on that towel. So really blowing all the air out, holding your tummy in, squeezing in, squeezing in. Squeeze, 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 and don't think about the release so much. It's just in, 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 in. Legs are straight, toes are pointed, lock out behind the knee, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. We're going to bring the towel now between the calves rather than between your inner thighs. And we're going to start a combination where we're going to go down, up, squeeze, squeeze. Bend, down, up, straight, squeeze, squeeze. Bend, down, up, straight, squeeze, squeeze. Down, up, squeeze, squeeze. Down, up, squeeze, squeeze. Down, up, squeeze, squeeze. Go for four, three, squeeze, squeeze, two, squeeze, squeeze. Last one, squeeze, squeeze. Now we're going to go down, squeeze while you're down there, up. Down, squeeze, squeeze, up. So down, toes are down, squeeze, squeeze, in with your knees, straight. Down, squeeze, squeeze, hold your tummy in, straight. Down, squeeze, squeeze, straight. Down, squeeze, squeeze, straight. Four more, down, squeeze, squeeze, straight. Down, squeeze, squeeze, straight. Two more, down, squeeze, squeeze, 
straight, last one down, squeeze, squeeze, straight. Awesome job, hold on behind your knees and sit up. We're gonna do one last little thing, thigh master. So put it between your thighs again and we're gonna have this seated position. If you want to hold on behind your knees, you can. Deep breath in and blow everything out to that same C curve, tucking your hips and we're just gonna squeeze that towel. In, 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 in. If you want more work, extend your arms. In, in, if you want more work, come lower. In, in, last exercise, in, in. Keep going, hold your abs in, 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 in. Breathe, just keep squeezing. Breathe through it. Eight, seven, slow count, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, sit up. And we're going to turn around and lie on our tummies. And I want you to just push up, releasing the front of the abs. We felt those a lot. Deep breaths, and if you can, just come up slightly like this. So we just, coming against that tuck position and stretching out the other way to lengthen everything again. Deep breaths out. Now start walking your hands towards the front and you'll feel that oblique stretching at the back there. And then walk your hands towards the back. Feel that stretch. And then we're going to slowly roll it up and come into a seated position. I want you to put your hand on your opposite knee and just twist behind you. Deep breaths. And then the other way. And then I want you to bring one knee across and pull that into the chest. Try to keep both your glutes on the mat and you're really just trying to stay upright and feel that glute stretching there. And then we're gonna switch the other side. Bring that in towards your chest. And for our inner thighs, you can just open out as far as you feel comfortable and just come down, point and flex. And then just come back into a cross-legged position, interlace your arms, push away, opening up through the shoulder blades. And then lean to the side. Lean to the other side. And then interlace behind and pull up. Stretching out your biceps, your shoulders, your chest from those push-ups. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for my Total Body Express workout, all on the mat, all with just a towel for equipment. I hope you really felt that core contracting and that it helps you to get back in shape after your pregnancy. I'll see you at the next segment.